Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions YouTube channel. This is episode 7. In this video, I will be modifying my Yakin CD3 tube processor. I've decided to change the light-up logo on the front by replacing the stock blue LEDs with color-changing LEDs. Here's the stock blue color, and I'm going to take this apart and put in slow-changing RGB LEDs. They are 3mm LEDs that I'm putting in there. I just need to take the front panel off and take it into my shop and put the uh, new RGB LEDs in there. So I'm going to unplug it first and then I'm going to start taking the screws out to pull the front panel off. Now the front panel pulls off, and I just disconnect this connector here. And now I'm going to take the two screws out to pull the circuit board off of the front panel. Now the circuit board's out. As I can see on these LEDs, there are no lenses on them. So I'm going to use a Dremel tool to grind the lenses off of the new LEDs that I will be putting in. These are 3mm LEDs and I have some standard slow changing RGB 3mm LEDs with lenses, I'll just grind the lenses off and everything will be good. Now it's off to my workshop. Okay, so now I have the circuit board in my vise. I'm gonna put some fresh solder on these joints. Now I'm going to use the desoldering gun to clean off the pads. having a little bit of a problem with the desoldering gun. Okay, well the desoldering gun is clogged. So I'm just going to use the soldering iron to heat the pads up and just pull these LEDs out. Alright, so now all four LEDs are out, all I need to do is put the new LEDs in.
Now I'll just stick them in here. Now they're all in there, I just need to flip the board over and solder them in place. Okay, now I just cleaned the tip off, put the soldering iron away, and trim the leads. I got one LED that's a little bit low, so I'm just going to readjust it here. That looks good now. Now I'll trim the leads. Now my leads are trimmed, i turn the soldering iron off, and now I have to use my Dremel to grind the lenses off. Now I just need to put this all back together. Processor. All right, guys, so I ran into a little bit of a problem here. After putting everything back together, I discovered they run AC to the front panel instead of DC. So I took a full wave bridge rectifier and soldered on some wires and connectors. So I'm just gonna zip tie it to these wires right here. Little snippy snippy of the excess zip tie. Now I just have to put this back together and hope there aren't too many leftover parts.
so of course I dropped the screw. All right, now I'll just connect the front panel. And drop another screw. Sure, I might as well drop the screwdriver too, why not, huh? And drop another screw. Put in a couple screws here at the top. Now I'll just plug it in and turn it on and hope it doesn't go bang. With the lighting I have here, it's kind of hard to see. So I'm going to turn off my lights. And there we go. don't know how well the camera picks this up but you can see the LEDs are kind of going out of sequence which is kind of neat it's given kind of a rolling motion to the lighting Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.